This is Hannah. Yeah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah uh, Bible verse, Ezekiel chapter 8, and Romans chapter 1, 22, 23. But I will try to read all the chapter, Romans chapter 1. So let's go read the Bible, Ezekiel chapter 8. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I sat in my house with the elders of Judah, setting before me that the hand of the Lord God fell upon me there. Then I looked, and there was a likeness, like the, like the appearance of, the, of fire from the appearance of his waist and downward fire, and from his waist and upward like the appearance of brightness, like the color of amber. And number three, uh, chap verse three, he stretched out the form of a hand and took me by a lock of my hair, and the Spirit lifted me up between earth and heaven and brought me in visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the north gate of the inner court, where the uh, seat of the image of jealousy was which prov provokes to jealousy. For and behold, the glory of God of Israel was there like the vision that I saw in the plain. 5. Then he said to me, Son of man, lift your eyes now toward the north. So I lifted my eyes toward the north, and there, north of the altar gate, was this image of jealousy in the uh, entrance. Six, furthermore, he said to me, uh, Son of man, do, do you see what they are doing? The great um, uh, Abomination, abominations that the house of Israel comes here to make me go far away from my sanctuary. Now turn again, you will see greater abominations. So he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, there was a hole in the wall. Then he said to me, Son of man, dig into the wall. And when I dug into the wall, there was a door. And he said to me, Go in and see the wicked abominations which they are doing there. So I went in and saw, and there, every sort of creeping thing, abomin abominable beasts and all the, all the idols of the house of Israel, portrayed, portrayed all around on the walls. And there stood before them seventy men of the elders of the house of Israel, and in their midst stood Jazaniah, the son of Sephan. Each man had a censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then he said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the room of his idols, for they say, the Lord, the Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. And he said to me, turn again, and you will see greater abominations that they are doing. So he brought me to the door of the north gate of the Lord's house, and to my dismay, women were sitting there weeping for Thomas. Then fifteen. Then he said to me, "Have you seen this, o, this o son of, o son of man? Turn again; you will see greater abominations than these." So he brought me into the inner, into the inner court of the Lord's house, and there, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, 
were about 10, 25 men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their face toward the, the east, and they were worshipping the sun toward the east. Then he said to me, Have you seen this, O son of man? Is it, is it a tribeer? Trivial thing to the house of Judah to commit the abominations which they commit here, for they have filled the land with violence, then they have returned to pro provoke me to anger. Indeed, they put the branch to their nose. 18. Therefore I also will act in fury. My eye will not spare, nor will I have pity and though, and though and though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, I will not hear them. Yeah. O Son of God. <coughs> Romans chapter 1. Yes. I can read more because six minutes I just re read it. The Ezekiel 8, but the Romans 1. The actually, Roman chapter 22, 23, I will read first. Prof, uh, professing to be wise, they became fools, 23, and changed the glory of the, of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. So, the be wise. The first, but I will try to read uh, Romans chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle separated to the gospel of God, which he promised before through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures. So concerning, we, I, I, I will read uh, concerning, uh, not Romans, but, uh, Daniel. Yeah. Daniel chapter 9, 2. And this one is the because of the left minutes, and the other, the uh, Jeremiah thirty seven thirty eight Jeremiah twenty nine. I'll try to read the uh, next Bible verse. So I will go uh, the related Bible verse on the destruction of Jerusalem lesson ten. So I'll try. Um, I'll read now the Romans chapter. Yes. Romans chapter nine, verse two. The Romans chapter nine, verse two. Uh, then Daniel, Daniel chapter nine, verse two. Yeah. You also try to read about related the verse nine two in the first year of. Uh, First year of his reign, I Daniel understood by the books the number number of the the, the years specified the right by the word of the Lord given through Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Yeah, uh, it just says like that about uh, Jeremiah. The prophet Jeremiah prophesied about uh, accomplishing 70 years in the destruction of Jerusalem. Yeah, that's why I just read related the Bible, the destruction of Jerusalem. So the Ezekiel 8 and then Daniel 9, 2 and Romans chapter 1, 22. 23. So that's why if you just heard about from the the God of the prophesied one through the prophets, so we have to know about that. So be wise. Professing to be wise, they be, became fools and changed the glory of the the incorruptible God into an, imi an image made like a corruptible man and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Therefore, God also gave them up to gave them up to uncleanness in the lusts of their hearts to 
dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worshipped and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Romans chapter 25 was the, through 32. For this reason God gave, gave them up to the vile passion, passions for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against the natural. The, likewise also the men leaving the, leaving the natural use of women burned in their lust for one another. Man with man committing what is the same shameful, shameful, and receiving in themselves the plan, penalty of their error, which was due, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased, debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being. Being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, immoral, immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, yeah, mal maliciousness, full of envy, and uh, murder, strife, deceit, evil, mindedness. They are whispers, uh, whisperers. Backbiters, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inven inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents. 31. Dis undiscerning, untrustworthy, trustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such a thing such things are worthy of death not only do the same but also approve of those who practice them yeah so jesus said about the bad things about like this so the romans chapter 1 just already described by Paul, Paul, but uh, Jesus already told us about bad things, bad minds comes from like that. But uh, I'll try more, three, two minutes left, so I'll try the Romans chapter 8, first chapter, yeah, which he promised. Chapter 1 is almost done, so I want to read chapter 1, verse 8. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all that your, that your fa faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit, in the gospel of his son, and that without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayers. And ten, making re request, request if by some means, now at last I may find the way in the will of God to come to you, for I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift, so that you may be established. That is that I may be encouraged together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Now I do not want you to be unaware, unaware, brethren, that I often planned to come to you but was hindered until now, that I might have some fruit among you also just as among the other Gentiles. Goodbye, see you on Jeremiah 36, 7, 26, 7, maybe, yeah, bye.